Okay, uh, so we yep. are live. Okay. Hey, friends. Sorry, I was having some technical difficulties getting started. But this is um, Teach Beside Me. My name is Karin. For those of you that haven't learned my name yet, and I am going to talk to you guys about an amazing tool set. I know tools seems kind of weird, but you'll see why I love them so much in just a second. Um, this is by Works Tools, W-O-R-X, and they're called Maker X, and they are so much fun. And these are a kind of tool set that you can actually use with your kids and make some really cool projects. And you can see the project that we have been making this week. This is me and my kids. Is it tilted? Ah, did I come on sideways? You can't fix it. You have to turn it. Yeah, you'll have to turn it for me. My daughter's helping me on the side there. So, so we do the, you have to switch on my tripod. All right, so we've got a tic-tac-toe board that we've been making this week, and I, I have it set up here so you guys can see. And you can see that there's a square missing. So we're going to show you how we made each of these little squares. And I have a couple of little helpers that are going to be here to help me today with some of these things. But first I want to tell you about each of these awesome tools and what they do and how you can use them and what we have used them for in our project. So over here, I've got, hey, will you grab me the battery pack over there and the plug that's plugged in on my desk? So first I'm gonna show you the different tool setups. We have, this is an airbrush for painting and it's so much fun. We didn't use it on this because we wanted a brighter color and the airbrush is more of a faint um, color scheme when you paint with it, but it is so much fun. The kids and I have fun trying that. This is a little heat gun, a little mini one, that you can use for all kinds of heat projects. Um, if you, you use a blow dryer sometimes to dry your paint or other things like that. <laughs> Guys, sorry, they're noisy getting my cold in my tools. Um, over here, I have, thank you, yes. this is the angle grinder. This has different attachments you can change to do different types, and we have done, thank you, sweetie, we've done sanding with this right here, and we used this one a lot for this project, and I'm going to have, my nine-year-old son is going to demo this, because he's done the bulk of the sanding on this project for us, and we sanded the edges of each of these X and O pieces, um, and <laughs> so that's how this one works. And we've got this one, this is called the Rotary Tool. And the Rotary has all different tips that you can use. And the tips are interchangeable to, to um, carve out different shapes or to sand different edges. And we use the Rotary Tool to make the shapes of the letters on ours. And I, I loved this tool. This is a really useful and really awesome one. As well as the little wood and... I'm going to get the name right, wood and metal crafter. And this, you can uh, use, it uses heat to burn wood, and you can do it in metal as well. And we tried this out in a couple of the pieces ahead of time. If you wanted to do a more natural look on a tic-tac-toe board or on some wood crafting that you're doing, you could use this wood burner to make the shapes on it instead of the painting or whatever you might have used. Um, along with these, I'll show you how they work. But this is the battery pack and the hub and the way this thing works is so awesome so this you charge and it, uh, if you want to show me that charger real quick guys this charger you plug in and you attach it here and plug it in and it has a little blinking light that shows you whether or not it's charged and then once it is charged you detach it and you put it on the hub the hub goes right on here like this just so, like so and then you attach that cord to one of your tools. Now what makes this so awesome is that you can take this anywhere. Um, they call it cordless. It has a little cord, as my son pointed out. It's not cordless, but basically it is because you don't have to stay plugged into a wall as you use it. So once your battery pack is charged, you just attach it to your hub and attach this hub, I'll show you where this detaches, to any one of these tools and you can use them anywhere. And we took it, you know, different places around our house where, where while we were making this, and we don't have to be plugged into anything. It's kind of cool. So, next I want to show you guys. I'm going to bring in my little nine-year-old here. He's, he's been helping me behind the scenes, but he's going to come on camera now. And I'm going to let him show you how we sanded one of these blocks of wood 
we'll detach that one and put it on here with our little angle grinder. Now he, this little guy, this is Burton, he was probably more excited about these tools than I was when they came in the mail because he is my tool Definitely. kid. We get him tools for Christmas, this boy. He loves his tools. So, the safety goggles are a good idea. Yes, thanks, bud. Um, so he just was thrilled to be able to help me with this project and to have a set of tools that he could use alongside me with um, a lot less danger. Now these are still tools, so you still need to use some safety precautions as you're using them. As you can see, he's putting on his little safety goggles because we learned pretty quickly when we started sanding that we needed those. We don't want dust particles and pieces of wood flying into your eyes, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we learned that pretty Definitely. quickly. And uh, so he's got his little goggles on and it's going to get loud for a second, but you're going to watch as he sands. Let's pull these away so they're not in yeah. the way and they can see what you're doing. He's out of the way. All right. So Gordon's going to sand this block and get us ready to make one more. What is that? That's our X. One more X for our board. Yeah. Okay. So you push on the power button. And then um, once the noise gets at its loudest, you should start sanding so you let it Because that's all power. the way up to power speed, right? And on here, there's a little dial where you can control minimum and maximum speed. And we'll just keep it kind of middle of the line. That's good. We're going to just leave it at that for right now. But, um, you, can but you can see, maybe you can take it just a little closer to them so they can see the difference in what he's done there and the beautiful cur curved edge he's done on that board and how simple that was. And I love that it's just this small little portable sander that we can literally use anywhere and that my nine-year-old can do with me. How awesome is that? Okay, next I want to show you, thanks honey, yeah. um, how we carved out the letters here. And this one, my kids can do, but they're letting me do it because I get the letters a little straighter. <laughs> Isn't that true? They both yeah, try yeah. this, and they both are very capable of doing it. But I'm going to show you how I do it. Because um, this one, when you're carving in the wood, it tends to get a little wobbly because it's pretty powerful. And so they're, they, when they were doing it, they were having trouble getting their lines straight. And I'll show you a couple tips of how I do it to keep my line straight in the wood and, and how I learned. When I first did it too, it's, I've been working on this for a couple of days, and when I first did it, mine were all over the place as well. And I changed tips and tried a few different tips. And this is this one, I don't know the names, but this one right here, this cute little pink one, and it's like straight and rounded, is the one that I liked the best for carving out these letter shapes and our X's and O's. Um, so I'm going to show you just a little bit. I'll just do the center of the O here, and you can see how we did that. So on, we push the power button on, and this just powers right up. So I take the smaller tip point, and I just go right around. It's like you're writing. You just have to hold it really still and push hard so that it doesn't wobble. I've got that one, and once I do a thin line, that kind of helps me keep the guideline for doing it a little wider. So then I go back in and go around again, and I turn it flat down, and that helps me get a wider edge. where I carved out the circle, the middle circle of the O. Um, my, my daughter wants to help and show how we painted. We don't have our paint uh, palette 
I think it's upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, so we might not, maybe I'll just have you paint just a touch right in here. Okay. But what we did next, once they were carved all the way out, is we painted them. If you want to come on, you can talk about how we did the paints and show the colors and the brushes we did and talk about the technique we used. Do you want to come in and talk about it? Yeah. We probably won't paint right now. We'll just show it because we're not quite there. But you can, you can help me make the X also. Okay. So... So this is Elsie, my 13-year-old, and she's beautiful. Okay, so tell them about this and what we did. So we used acrylic paints and just painted around after we traced the lines. And we did the dots because it was a little messy on the edges and it makes it look nicer. It also really defines the edges, and we liked the way it kind of finished it and tied it into the white of the board yeah. that we did. Awesome. Now we have one last tile here or square, wood square to do. And we'll have Elsie trace the X on here. We've got a pencil and I'll show you. We just printed some X and O templates and um, just use them just like a template to trace the letters so that they're all uniform and nice. And we'll just scoot that back and you can make our last X. Um, while you're tracing, I'll talk about how we made the board. So we, for this, just had a really large piece of wood that was hanging out in our tool room. <laughs> and my husband said, this one will do great because I want it out of my tool room. So that's where we started. I'm not sure what kind of wood. I think it's a particle board wood. But we painted this white with just a semi-gloss um, paint. And then I had, before painting actually, had my cute little nine-year-old help me. And we sanded these edges just like I showed you on the other squares. We got it really nice and smooth and sanded everything down so that we don't have any sharp edges that will cut anybody when we're playing with our board. And then we painted it. A couple, I think two coats of white paint. Yeah. And then just got some masking tape and we marked these off and measured them and taped off so that there were spaces between. And the kids helped me paint and we painted all the lines between the board here. And they turned out really great. We wanted to do some fun bright colors and if you're familiar with my, good job, she did her X, awesome. If you're familiar with my website, these are actually my colors that I use on my, on my blog, which initially wasn't my plan, but it turned out that way. I must just really like these colors together. So we have almost completed X and O's. How about you guys come play a game of tic-tac-toe okay. to finish this off? Who's X's? Yeah. Your X's, your O's. Here's an X, here's an X. Here's an O, here's an O. And there's the extras that aren't done. Okay, put them off the board. Got, got a lot of sawdust around. You guys are Nobody both too wins. smart. Nobody wins. Nobody Good wins. job. All right, so there we have it. There is our tic-tac-toe board that we have had so much fun with these with these works tools. And let me just tell you a few more details that we have going on. Um, because I want you guys to know all the awesomeness. As you're watching this, and I should have said this at the beginning, but just leave me a comment with some of the things that you would make with these awesome tools. We made our tic-tac-toe board. Do you know that you can etch metal and glass with some of these tools? You can wood burn, you can do all kinds of awesome things. So as you think about these awesome tools, tell me a comment of what you would make and you can win a whole set of these. I will randomly select somebody and one of you guys will get to win your own set of these amazing tools. So these tools can be found, it's works.com, W-O-R-X, not K-S, X. And if you go there, you can learn more about them. Right now, I think they're just available for pre-order. I'm not sure if they're quite live yet, but they are available for pre-order and pretty soon they'll be available at other retail retailers like Lowe's or Amazon, um, other places like that. So if you wanna find them, they will be out soon or you can pre-order them. This would be such a cool Christmas gift, oh, wouldn't just it? Just um, a jigsaw puzzle, is that what someone said? Yeah. My kids are telling me that's a great yeah. idea. They love your idea of the jigsaw puzzle. So leave me, any of you guys that are watching, leave me those comments. And also this brand, Maker is, Maker X is doing, or Maker X is the tools, Works is the brand. Works is doing a, um, another contest on their social media accounts. 
So if you do get a set of these tools and you make something that is X shaped, so I think X shaped, that's why I wanted to do the tic-tac-toe because it represents the brand, right? Um, then you can be entered to win a contest that they're gonna be doing. Now this is a really awesome project or contest. So I wanna make sure I get these details exactly right. But if you um, share your contest on social media or your project um, and tag them, you can do it on Instagram or Twitter or Pinterest and you tag their accounts, then you can win, you can be entered to win. The first place is $5,000. The second place is $2,500. The third place is $1,000. And then there will be three honorable mentions of $500. And you have to use the hashtag, hashtag power of X as well as contest. So that's such an amazing um, opportunity that you guys can enter to win. And what could you do with $5,000 for Christmas, right? Or for house projects or whatever you want to do right now with that kind of money. So that's so awesome. And if you guys like STEM projects or engineering or any of those kinds of things, these tools are so awesome for that. Like think of all the, my son and I have already been scheming of all the fun things that we wanna do and how we're gonna use these tools for some of our blog projects in the future. And so we're excited to have these and they are so family friendly and usable with kids, with your supervision of course, and some safety goggles to keep us safe. Um, but it's such an awesome opportunity. So be sure to check out their website, works.com and learn more about the contest details there and you can pre-order it and have some fun with your own family and making some awesome projects. So thank you guys all so much for tuning in today. If you watch this after the live is over, I'm gonna leave the contest open for about 24 hours. And so be sure to still leave your comments of the projects that you wanna make and let us know what you would do with them and give us some more ideas. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much and see you later.